Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the iPhone Helper. Today, I'm going to be doing an app review on uh, Find My iPhone. Apple has been selling it on the App Store for about 99 cents, but um, now Apple has officially released it to being uh, free. 99? Just kidding. Uh, it's free right now under the App Store. Really great app. Uh, really good if you're one of those people that go out a lot. You might have a lost iPod, iPhone, iPad, whatever. But um, here we go. So first what you do is uh, go into the App Store and type in find my iPhone. And when it comes up you have two versions for either iPad or iPhone. For me I have an iPad and iPod. So I would have installed the iPad version. And Once you do that you would go under your settings and then go to your mail, contacts, calendars, and then you would add a mobile me account. It's free. You don't even have to have a real email account for it. But um, yeah. So then once you download the app, you can see it from your iDevice and whatnot. You can have it in map view. You can have it in uh, satellite, which is really cool. But now let's get down to the real cool stuff, all right? So I'm going to put my iPad down, and you can see my computer right here. What you would do is I have a bookmark right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I labeled it, find my iPod Touch. You can label it whatever you want, but go to mobileme.com, and you sign in with your Apple ID, which is your ID for your iTunes, and you put in your password, mobileme. Then what you do is you would sign in. Here, I'm going to sign in real quick so oh yes can't see it hold on okay almost done guys all right so now that I'm signed in, you load it loads up, and then it takes you to a somewhat uh, similar page, just kind of as Google Maps, just uh, a little bit more awesomer, I should say, I don't know if that's a word or not, but as you can see, we have a map right here, and it locates whatever device you have. Now up here, you can see we have my iPod and my iPad, it's my dad's iPad, but it's all of ours. So right now you can see that it's currently idle. But what you would do is, because you would go under your Wi-Fi on your actual device and just keep it on, or depending if you have a 3G, and then what you do is you just give it a second on your computer, and then it loads, and then while well, that's loading, what you can do is you can, for instance, click on mine right here, or yours, it would pop up. And then you get this little uh, pop-up bar. It displays your iPod. Uh, it says locating, or you can remove it. But then you have three features. You can either display, message, or play a sound. Lock your iPod or iPhone or iPad. And then you could either wipe it. Now, what the wipe would do is just get rid of everything on it, which it's. I'd only recommend that doing, too, if you have... Uh, do like online banking and stuff like that but once again I am not telling you to do that uh, it's just my view so for instance what we'll do is we'll do for my iPad and we'll click on that and for instance I'll click display message or play sound I'll put please return whoops where'd that go return Alright, and then I'll press send, and then it loads. Your message has been sent. You will receive a confirmation email. So once again, we have it right here. Important message. Please return. And that beeping noise will go on for as long as your battery will last. So even if you just lose it in your home and you're trying to find it, 
it's really good. Now the other feature that you can do with this is you can lock it, which is really cool. Uh, our iPad won't do it right now because we haven't set up a password for it. But uh, if I were to do it from my iPod, which I'm making this video with, um, it would lock it right now. But um, I don't want to lock the video process. So anyway, that's pretty much that. And then you can also see where it goes. Up here you can do satellite view just as well on your iDevice. You can zoom in, and what's really crazy about this app is that it will actually show you the part in your house. All right, well, right now it's not that accurate because it's in my next door neighbor's house. All right, no, it isn't. It's in mine. But um, this is where it's at, and this is where it's being recorded right now. So it's pretty accurate as well. And then up here in the corner, you can uh, update your update where its location is. And I'll keep updating it. You can go into here. You can use your go to your account, help, or sign out. And it's just a really great app just to have, even though you might not ever need it. But there is always that possibility that oh no, where's my iPod? I lost it. I need help. But um, but it's just a really great video. So please uh, rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'm sorry for the bad uh video quality of this video um, I don't I'm just using this free hand so it's kind of wobbly but um, hopefully I will be able to uh, make some more great videos uh, please uh, rate or comment and uh, rate uh, just realistic comments so I can see what I'm doing wrong if I'm doing anything wrong or uh, stuff like that so uh, thanks